There's wisdom from great leaders. Now, we all know that. But in this era that we're living now, where sharing inspirational quote is a marketing strategy, which I fully leverage myself, but as we, as this now has become a marketing strategy, we seem to have lost some of the wisdom behind those quotes, behind those sayings. So today I want to share with you one of my favorite quotes from Zig Ziglar and how it influences our behaviors right now and what can we do about it. And the quote goes like this, you don't, you don't drown by falling in the water. You only drown if you stay there. So what does this mean? It means that it's not the mistake. It's not the failure. It's not the goal that we didn't achieve that actually destroys our drive, that actually um, destroys our motivation is the fact that we actually stay in that emotion that kills us, that kills the drive, that kills the motivation. And that, that emotion that we stay in, what happens is it gets transferred into our inner chatter. You know that little voice that we all have? that says, who are you? Oh yeah, you know what? You tried something like this before, it didn't work. Why bother? It didn't work last time. Well, you see, you can do it. And it just constantly comments and judges the entire world around us. So now it's a great quote. And it's a quote that as entrepreneur, we live on a daily basis, right? Or maybe not on a daily basis, but on a regular basis, we set out a goal. We had a vision. We wanted to reach a potential client. We wanted to, to, uh, land this, this center of influence or this influence or it didn't happen. And this all translates into our inner chatter. So now the real question is, what do we want to do about it? Because yes, in seeing those inspirational are great, but when we're just seeing them and we're reading them in social media, we're like, that's right, that's really wise, but we don't do anything about it. The wisdom behind the quote is all lost. So what do we want to do when we hear that inner chatter? When we do face an obstacle, when we don't reach a goal, and that inner chatter just starts, and seems to never stop. Well, first, you actually want to consciously realize what's going on. Consciously understand, pay attention to what is that inner chatter telling me? What is it repeating all the time? And okay, we can say that inner chatter comes from ego. So where is my ego being hurt? Where am I being actually stuck in my own ego? So once I actually consciously realize what is that inner chatter doing, what is going on, from there I can actually do something about it. Because the reality is that inner chatter is the strongest thing that we have. It can propel us forward. You can do this. Let's go. Come on. You've got this or it can propel us in a down world spiral. And we've all lived both. Anyways, I hope I'm, the only, I'm not the only one, but we've all lived both where we just keep on, things keep on getting better and better and, or things keep on getting worse and worse. So once I consciously bring a notice what is going on in my inner chatter, then be curious about it. What's going on? What's the story? Then I can do something about it. Be curious about it. What's behind that inner chatter? What's the fear that's behind that inner chatter? Because there's always a fear that's behind that. What do I do? Do I believe that fear? Is that scenario realistic? Because you see, the brain's job is to keep us alive. And to do that, it actually, in neuroplasticity, it's called, it's called catastrophizing. So it creates disasters where we all know it doesn't happen, right? A client leaves us a message and like our inner chatter just starts like, oh yeah, you know, we probably made a mistake and he probably wants to leave as, as a client and he's probably unsatisfied la, 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 and doesn't stop. So once I stop my inner chatter, I'm curious, what's going on? What's the fear behind it? And do I want to believe that fear? You'll see how you're able to actually transform your inner chatter. 
which will transform the emotion that we're stuck in, which will transform the behavior that we're taking. So these are the steps that we want to have. Something happens, a mistake, a failure, anything. Pay attention. What's my inner chatter saying? Is there a fear behind that? And do I believe that fear? And 99% of the time, seriously, these are just stories that our inner chatter are running with. That's it. So as cute as this quote can be, stop and ask yourself, what is behind that quote? What is the deeper meaning and teaching of that quote and how does it apply to me because remember you don't drown by falling in the water you drown by staying there so here's your mission this week think back of a time where there was a mistake think of a time where you didn't reach a goal think of a time where your inner chatter just started and just really never stopped and ask pay attention what was the story what was it saying And how could next time, because there will be a next time, how can you stop the inner chatter and change it for something that is actually more positive and that will propel you forward? Because we know deep down that so much more is possible. Thank you for being here week after week, and I will see you next Tuesday.